individually, uh, no one's to blame. People are, are retiring, people are seeking work, people are enforcing the law, uh, and yet the result was a systemic uh, situation in which people were dying by the thousands. The numbers uh, are tricky to follow in terms of how many people have died crossing the desert. In the past, I guess, past five or six years, they estimate 3,000. And the reason people are crossing the desert is because of uh, U.S. government policies shutting down the border in urban areas, which force people to cross the border because of the poverty that's pushing them away from their homes into the most brutal terrain possible. You saw the places where, where skeletons were, or human remains were recovered. You'd see the little altars that were constructed by well-wishers and sympathizers with poet, you know, homemade poetry. I guess all poetry is homemade, but uh, just it's extremely moving. One of the terms that, that we familiarize students with is structural violence. Um, and that's, it's, it's kind of a dense concept, but it's different than sort of random physical violence. It's violence that's created because of policy decisions that are made far away, typically, from where people end up suffering. You could begin with the death in, in the desert. Uh, you could begin with border enforcement. You could begin with the history of Mexico and the United States. You could begin with the copper, copper mining. You could begin with the war against the Apaches, I guess. Uh, but it's, it's all relevant to, to understand why that body ended up there uh, in the desert. So the students are out of their comfort zone. A person has to process that kind of thing. You can't, if you keep it inside, you shelve it away so that you can go on about your, your daily business. But it's inside, right? And so this is an opportunity for people to, to learn. So we create a safe zone as directors, and that safe zone was usually a, a nightly reflection. Talking with other people and bringing students together constantly to try to process and talk about what they felt as well as what they experienced was, was a way to sort of take learning beyond a, 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 an academic, intellectually defined context and make people not only think about what they understood or what they felt, but, but what they could do or should do as, as citizens, right? As people, as humans, right? Dealing with, with other humans. Uh, and I think that's sort of this difficult, it's difficult to define. It's difficult to put in a recruiting brochure. It's difficult to communicate before it actually happens. Uh, but I really feel confident that, that it did happen.